You know what guys, AMD, Intel and Nvidia, they all made big stonks this year round, but it's perhaps most interestingly to see what AMD has managed to do in terms of their Radeon graphics card sales and revenues, and this is exactly what we're going to be talking about today, because the latest report from John Petty Research showed us that there has been an increase in the AAB GPU market, of 10.3% over the previous quarter and I have managed to take a few notes to make this a little bit more simpler for you but as I would like to point out I'm no uh, math guru and all of that stuff but I'm going to try to tell you what I have managed to understand out of this report but before we go into that I would also like to point out that I have made a video talking about how the PC uh, market might become a little bit more expensive and trying to get PC components is going to become more expensive by about 40% depending on how you look at things and that video is going to be linked somewhere around here but even in that case don't get all that scared and don't uh, rush out to buy new components right now but like I was saying let's get into talking about the AAB GPU market uh, do keep in mind that this report has also been made before AMD launched their big Navi cards and before Nvidia launched their 30 series of graphics cards, so the 3070, 3080, 3090 and 3060 Ti right now. Those have taken place in Q4 of 2021 and this report only goes into Q, uh, up until Q3 2021 as far as I was able to understand. Either way, despite the ongoing human malware issue, we have all invested more into hardware, peripherals, uh, and we of course didn't skimp on costs and with that in mind I think we have also made uh, the scalpers pockets a little bit deeper uh, although I don't think we should be really proud of that but you know what it has happened and I think this is actually going to reflect into um, Q4 and Q1 2021 results as well but AMD like I was saying and their GPU sh shipments increased by 18.7% whereas Nvidia's by only 10.8% and Intel by by 7.8% and you might be looking at this and going like huh Intel and their discrete graphics cards well yeah they do have their integrated graphics cards and I think this report also counted uh, accounted for that and of course they're also entering the market right now on the discrete GPUs with their uh, XC or XZ graphics whatever you prefer calling them and of course they're going to evolve a little bit better in the coming years hopefully but this is now all fine and dandy till you look that AMD has managed to climb by 1.3%, Nvidia barely moved with 0.09% and Intel managed to lose some ground with minus 1.4% and this is kind of to be expected seeing that AMD and Nvidia are both releasing fantastic products and Intel is not necessarily doing all that great in the CPU market either with AMD most certainly gaining ground and I have discussed about that in a previous video that I made on my channel I'll probably link it once again somewhere around here now going over the uh, total AB market we have seen that there it's forecasted to um, reach 20.3 billion dollars but to be fair <laughs> if we're looking and this is by 2023 but to be fair looking at how things are going right now with big navi with the rtx 30 series graphics cards and what um, other products that these companies are planning on releasing because they're they're far from done because of course we're going to see a 3050 a 3060 we're going to see from um AMD the 6700 and the 6700 XT all of those things I've already mentioned in videos that I've made so do make sure to check the links in the video description here if you're interested and of course Intel is also trying to step up their game with their discrete GPU so I would most certainly expect those things to generate even more money and we're going to get most probably into some other things that are going to make AMD particularly some more money but <laughs> let's stick to what we're talking about right now now the GPU market quarter of a quarter we have seen that AMD's shipments increased by nearly 19% whereas Nvidia's grew by 10.8% but again this is not taking into consideration those launches that they had I'm also expecting both companies to make a lot more money once they actually manage to ship those graphics cards to more people because we all know that they're having some issues right now meeting demand <laughs> because uh, supply hasn't been all that great for those graphics cards due to of course the human malware pandemic and 
some other issues that I've uh, talked about in one of my previous videos. But this is nevertheless impressive seeing that the PC market also saw an increase of nearly 10% with an increase of 9.5% um, over the last quarter. And right now, if you have someone telling you that PC gaming is dead and people only care about um, smartphones and mobile gaming or consoles, then show them this video and slap them. Actually, don't slap them because I don't condone violence on my channel, but you know, if you tell them to watch this video and get subscribed, then I'm sure that they're going to become a lot smarter. Either way, that's besides the point because the discrete GPU market as a whole also managed to grow by 9.1% over the last year. And in Q3 alone, we've seen an increase of 13.4% 13 13 and this amounting to the whopping <laughs> um, number that is $4.2 billion. And of course, expected this number to grow by a little bit and uh, well, a little bit more, I would say. But of course, I'm no financial investor and I have well, little clue about those things. So definitely don't take advice from me on whether should you on whether you should invest in AMD, Intel, Nvidia, or any other company that is producing graphics cards, CPUs, or whatever in the whole semiconductor industry. You know, it's interesting to talk about those things, but definitely don't take advice, uh, investment advice from me. Do make sure to talk to you a um, person that is specialized and has and has been accredited to work in this field. And I also promise that we're going to be talking about some other things relating to AMD and their hopes for the years to come. And we've seen AMD is also hoping to make an insane 22 billion by 2025, which would put it at an equally massive 292% over the revenue that they made in 2019. And it's completely mind boggling to think about it. but. AMD might actually stand a chance at doing this, looking at their whole um, acquisitions that they've done for, uh, because they've acquired Xilinx. And if you didn't know about that, then, you know, links in the video in the description. They have also released some spectacular CPU, um, CPUs with their Ryzen 5000 series, and they're most probably going to do that on mobile as well with the 5000U and H series processors. I've discussed about both um, on my channel, their big Navi cards and everything that they're doing, including their Radeon 6000M series of graphics cards. I think all of those things are going to add up to um, some impressive numbers for AMD. And I would expect them to continue to grow as opposed to what they were doing five or 10 years ago, if you remember all of those things. AMD has also said that year over year they have seen a 20% revenue growth and they also expect to grow further but in 2025 they would see this go to a growth of 12% so they are definitely not trying to make this look a little bit more interesting for investors but I don't know, is, is this something really big that makes people's hopes go up whenever they're coming up with those numbers? I, like I was saying before, I didn't keep up with the whole financial market and stonks and I don't necessarily care that much about it, but it's still interesting to talk about those things as someone who is interested in PC hardware in general. Before the launch of Big Navi, their revenue stood at $6.5 billion and the last time the company even managed to meet their last year's expected figure uh, was a while ago, but now they actually managed to outgrow it and now they're even making more money. So if there haven't been all those availability issues, I would also expect AMD to... Um, I don't know, celebrate with fine wine and champagne. They most probably do those things since Dr. Lisa Su took um, a hold of the position of CEO. And yeah, congratulations, AMD. You're doing a fantastic job. And don't forget that they're also going to be announcing more products at CES 2021. So that's kind of when I expect to see their stonks go a little bit up yet again. Of course, their stock value has also seen growth given that Intel is now struggling and that they have started working with TSMC and by extension with Sony and Microsoft to produce all of those chips and they're making the CPUs and the GPUs for them. But all of those numbers will most certainly change once the whole Xilinx deal goes through and once the demand for their products starts dying out a bit and you shouldn't be all too worried about those things because this always happens with new products you know this is the normal um, product cycle for products they they go up in, in the beginning then it starts to die down until like nobody cares about them or they stop producing them like they stopped producing the 5700 but not the 5700 XT 
very interesting. Now, of course, I'd make a joke about AMD buy, about buying AMD stonks right now, but like I was saying, I am not able to do um, to give you advice about buying stonks. So again, don't take it from me. But it's still interesting, and I hope you guys enjoyed this type of a video. It's definitely been a little bit more difficult for me to do because um, a I'm not necessarily I'm not particularly great at math, <laughs> and now I'm thinking of another meme, uh, <laughs> which you're probably going to see on screen right now. Um, but it's still interesting to do as someone, like I was saying, is interested in PC hardware. And if you're interested in PC hardware, technology, games, you're most certainly going to find content relating to that on my channel. So definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. I don't know why it's that difficult. You're going to find it under this one that I'm, that I was pointing um, at. And of course, um, thanks a lot for watching. This has been Alex with the Red Elk. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye. And hopefully it's going to be a more professional video because uh, this one didn't, didn't, do, didn't do all that well. Okay, bye.